Hey everyone, this just finally came in. My S Pen for the Ga Galaxy S21 Ultra. The time that I ordered this, it was on back order, or yeah, it was out of stock. It was on back order. So I wanted to do this video review along with the um, Spigen that I got. It's called the Spigen Liquid Air with the S Pen holder. Is uh, nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents with Amazon Prime shipping. So it's about like twenty uh, ten dollars, at least ten dollars cheaper than the Galaxy um, protective case with the uh, S Pen holder. So I thought it was a uh, cheaper to just buy the pen separate. The pen, this one, the S Pen, was like twenty nine ninety nine, I believe. I'll put the prices up for the most recent prices, or at least at the time of this video. But yeah, so this is like twenty nine, or was it thirty nine? Anyways, it's cheaper to buy these two than buy the S Pen and Galaxy uh, case with the S Pen holder um, bundled or way cheaper than the book cover or flip cover is what they call it. It was like eight, that's $81 with the S Pen. So yeah, and uh, the one thing I like is because I like the look of this uh, Spigen better than the plain um, Galaxy S, uh, Samsung's own uh, case, as you guys will see in the pictures above. So if it wasn't already blatantly obvious by now, the new Galaxy S21 Ultra does support the S Pen. I've tried it out with my Tab S7's S Pen. My Note uh, 10 Plus's S Pen works with this Galaxy um, S21. It's, this is my first ever Galaxy S21, if you guys don't know. Because I've always bought or used the Note just because of the S Pen. I'm a big believer and a big user of the S Pen. And uh, one of the best things about the S Pen, which people kind of take for granted, but for old guys like me, I um, like to do the uh, lock screen writing. So here's the Tab S7 um, S Pen. And screen memo should work on this. There you go. So you guys see that? on-screen memo and then you know with on-screen memo it's so helpful because I can do all my to-do lists and reminders and things like that you know just so I don't forget because for old guys like me sometimes I'm like hey I'm supposed to do something what am I supposed to do or what am I supposed to buy before I go home so when it's on the screen and you you know pin it to the screen it's easy to like not forget things that you otherwise would have forgotten if you don't have this um, lock screen memo. Like ever since they did this with the, uh, I think it was the Note 9 where they did the lock screen memo. It was one of the best things that um, could happen with the S Pen that Samsung invented. So, so this is the S Pen for the S21 Ultra and it should fit with the, uh, like I said, with this Spigen. And the reason why I like the Spigen Liquid Air over the... Uh, Note or the Samsung's own um, black case with the holder is because I, I just like to look better. And maybe if I order the Samsung's own, you know, case with the S Pen holder, um, I probably might end up like putting a skin on this. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. The only thing I'm concerned about with this is because it does add a little bit more width to the phone um if i can still like put this into the um onto my car's uh wireless charger slash holder so here we are inside my car and see this is a uh, my phone holder slash wireless charger and um just showing you guys that with this case it barely fits the uh the holder but it fits nonetheless so that is a good thing because i thought it wouldn't but you can see if it slots right in there but just barely Let's see you gotta like wiggle it in to get it out and then i gotta wiggle it in to um to get it locked in there but it fits so no issues there. So let's see the S Pen. Should also work with this. 
as you can as you guys can see you could use a So that's the Note 10 Plus S Pen right there. But now let's look at the one for the S21. So we're going to have to cut some tape, it looks like. Okay, so after we cut the top corners, the tape here on the top side corners, let's just uh, see what we get in the little box. So nothing much to the box, just a plain box with the S drawing of the or a picture of the S Pen right there. Nothing here in the back except for some package contents and things like that. So you can, if you guys want, pause that, read it for yourself. Okay, so what is this? This, this is cool. You get the S Pen, um, what is that called? The, the little tool for, and some extra tips it looks like, as you can see inside there, for um, the S Pen. That's nice. Yeah, you can see that there is extra tips inside with the tool. So that's pretty cool. You don't have to worry about like ordering separate um, tools or the S Pen tips. And here's the actual S Pen. If I can pop it out of this thing. There you go. All right. So... In some ways, it seems similar to the uh, shape of the Note 10 Pluses, only bigger and a little bit thicker. But and it has the same grip grippiness as the um, Tab S7's S Pen, as you guys can see here. As far as for writing, I'm probably going to like this one the best, the one for the Tab S7, just because. It's pretty much the um, almost the size of a regular pen. Well, this is not a regular pen, but I prefer pens with a thicker. Um, I prefer thicker pens. It's easier for me to write, and uh, this one is just as thick as a normal pen. Whereas this one is just a little bit thinner, and then this one is the smallest and thinnest of all. The one for the Note 10 Plus. So those are all your S pens compared right there. So here's our focus right here. So the S21 Ultras pen is pretty much the same as the other two pens. They have this button right here for like, <clears throat> on a note, you can use this button for Bluetooth functions like, you know, camera shutter and uh, air gestures and things like that, or to pop up the menus on the screen. So it has that one just like it is here. As you guys can see, now that it's focusing, and uh, geez, same with here on the S Note 10 Plus's S Pen. The one thing I do like is the smaller button on the Note 10 Plus is uh, a lot better for me for because I with the uh, Tab S7 S Pen uh, the button sometimes I accidentally hit that when I'm writing on this stuff. So I wish it would have been smaller or maybe they would have they could have placed it like a little bit lower or a little bit higher up here cuz where where I write is like right there near the uh the holder where I like to hold the pen for writing and doing stuff. Okay, so yeah, and then you got your Samsung logo right here. So you guys can see right here. button right there and it's good and grippy as you guys can see so that's that so looking at the speaking case this is what I liked about it it had these little like hexagon patterns that the Samsung one did not have and I thought they would like in the pictures they kind of popped out more you know they, they look more prominent here they kind of almost blend in to the back which this is the back that we are looking at right so I'm probably going to end up um, I might just put a carbon fiber skin on this to match the phone 
but here in the bottom right corner is the Spigen logo. Here on the inside is the typical uh, Spigen uh, pattern that they have to, I don't know if it's to keep the phone cooler with these uh, patterns and stuff or for shock protection. And then here is that logo that Spigen has. And if you guys don't know what this means, aliquid tibi vis, it's loosely translated from Latin to English is uh, something you want or something like that. What you want, something you want. Pop the S21 inside of the case. I'm assuming because of this side being thicker, I'm going to have to put it in this way. But with the, even with all that, it's not that tight, and uh, it's but it's still firm here around the sides but not too firm it's actually not it's probably more loose around the sides than my two clear cases but i forgot to show you guys what else you get um inside the box is like a, a some advertising i guess for their power brick and uh instruction manual right there this part is like i said it's pretty smooth um same here and these like patterns on the sides are supposed to help you with extra grip but it really doesn't. <laughs> the the side that's actually giving me better grip is the side where the S Pen is because the X the S Pen is pretty grippy. So going back to the back, um, there is extra lip around the camera lens. As you guys can see, there's extra lip around the camera lens. And here to the front. So here in the front, you get um all that extra lip around the front of the phone to protect the screen on all sides should your phone fall out of your hands or out of your pockets and onto the pavement and fall face flat. Let's test out the button since we're here in the front. The power button is nice and clicky. As you guys can see, um, volume buttons is nice and clicky, nice and responsive. As you guys can see right there, look at this. So nice and clicky and nice and responsive, no issues there. So that is that. Uh, the cutouts, the USB-C port looks like it's lined up properly. Same thing with the uh, speakers, speaker grills right here. Um, the two, I'm going to say microphones up top, microphone holes, are, yeah, they look lined up. So no issues there. Okay, we're going to test out the ports. So here are my two cords. One is a regular, and it does fit and snap into place, but it's not connected to any power brick right now. This is actually connected to my laptop. I actually have it on my laptop. Um, the fast charging cable brick though does work as you guys can see. Um, if I turn off the screen, super fast charging is good to go. One more time. Okay. So no issues with the ports and with any of the USB-C cables that I have here, the regular and the fatter uh, fast charging cable. Okay, so we have one more thing to test and that's uh, wireless charging. Regular. And it works as you guys can see. And as you can see right there, fast charging is good to go. On my Samsung 15 watt fast wireless charger, um, landscape mode works upside down mode is good and then one more time in the other landscape and that is good right there so no issues with wireless charging one more time with the S Pen um, since this is probably a two-in-one, can I get on-screen memo with this S Pen? 
yep it does work on screen memo and all the other stuff works so there you go put it back in you have to do this and let it just snap into place remove it put it back in okay okay um, just wanted to show you guys the Spigen liquid air P one and a half weeks later that now that I have the uh, D brand um, skin installed onto the case so now the camera lens carbon fiber skin matches with the back here on the case because they're, it's all D brand that's why I didn't want to make my own for this one like I did for the uh, LG V60 one right here and uh, this is for you guys who on Amazon gave this case a one star or some bad reviews and that's because you weren't taking note and you weren't paying attention to the details or to the what it had on the page so all the most of all, all the bad reviews in one stars was because they said that the uh, S Pen didn't really fit onto the phone case right here it fell off I have my note 10 plus right here this is the note uh, s pen and as you can see look at the size comparison it's not made for the note s pen if you guys take note on that product page from amazon and probably on speaking.com's website it says that it's only compatible with this s pen see for the galaxy s21 ultra not no other s pen okay they might have said not compatible with any other pen but you guys should know what they mean not compatible with all any of the other pens or s pens if i put the note 10 plus's pen on here it's not going to fit of course because it's not made for the note 10 plus s pen well right there it fit it, it fits if you put it on long way it doesn't fall off but this s pen only fits into the silo of your note or whatever pen you have for your note okay and now here is my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and here are the S pens compared to each other as you can see the S pen for the um, Tab S7 is even much bigger than the S Pen for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So if you try to, if you have this S Pen because you you own a Galaxy Tab S7 or Tab S7 Plus, don't expect it <laughs> to fit onto the uh, this case either because it's too big. And they even say um, when you're putting the S Pen into the Spigen case and also on the Samsung case it doesn't go this way because it'll be too tight it has to go where the Samsung logo right here this is the Samsung logo it either is facing the back like that or the front of the case for it to the front of the case for it to slide in properly or fit in properly like so And now you won't get any, uh, you won't get it to fall out because this is the S Pen that is made for this Spigen Liquid Air um, case. So that is that. I love the look of this case now with the uh, D brand skin. D brand skins are quality. You can feel the texture of the carbon fiber and it's even more resistant to smudges and fingerprints now at least the back of the case is not the screen and um 
installing the dbrand skin is very easy it's just like installing it on your phone because it is the one made for the back of your phone but it can also fit the case whatever plain black case you have you could put a dbrand skin on the back of that case just make sure it's not like a it has any kind of patterns on the case like say something like this or a kickstand before you put the uh the skin on and installing the skin is so much easier because of this big camera hump right here on the um galaxy s21 ultra it makes lining it up much much easier than with any other phone that i've had including this uh note 10 plus and my lg v60 that i'm recording with right now so that is our look at the uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra S Pen. And it does work. It is compatible with this Spigen Liquid Air with S Pen Holder. So all in all, with both of these together, you're looking at, let's see, the S Pen is $39.99. So let's say $40. Bucks. This is the Spigen Liquid Air with S Pen Holder. It's uh, $20. Bucks. So you're looking at... Um, 40 plus 20, 60 dollars, right? If you buy the Samsung's um, black rugged or pr black protective case with the S Pen combo, you're looking at 69.99 or 70 dollars. So you save 10 dollars when you buy this combo versus buying the one from Samsung. And I think that I just think this case looks better with this pattern right here, whereas the Samsung, it's just a plain black case. If I did buy the Samsung with the plain black case, um, I'd probably end up putting a skin on it. I'm probably going to end up putting a skin on this too. So I'm probably going to end up um, ordering another skin from dbrand. And then I can rock that out just the way it is. So pluses, well, you're going to get good, you know, decent to good protection. It's not going to be the most protective. If you want a most, the most protection, you're going to have to buy a thicker case like your OtterBox cases and things like that with the uh, built-in screen protection and stuff like that. And so you're going to have a more bulk of your case. And I don't even know if they make um, those kind of cases with an S Pen holder. Other than Samsung's own, <clears throat> the Spigen is the only one that I saw that has an S Pen holder. And one other company, and that was for like a wallet or folio case. And um, I'm not that's not really my style. I don't really like carrying around those cases for different reasons which would make this video much longer than it is now but yeah so i like this better so you save ten dollars that's the plus um to me it looks better than samsung's own uh, case with the s pen holder and uh whether it offers better protection or not i can't say they're they're probably about equal um, I, I don't think uh, they're both military-grade protection. I could be wrong, but I don't think they are. The only thing I could wish for is if they would have had a clear case, a small clear case that would um, have the S Pen holder. But I've been looking, and they don't. If you guys know of any clear cases or smoke clear cases with the S Pen holder, um, let me know in the description below. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, really nice case uh it does have decent grip on the sides so it gives you better grip than the actual phone itself but not as much grip as the these this clear case the esr and the vr the van mass right here but all in all it's nice i like it so yeah i'm probably going to end up ordering a dbrand skin for this and just install that onto here but anyways, that is all. Highly recommended. Like I said, you save $10 and it's a better looking case and it's going to offer just as much protection, maybe a little bit better protection than the Samsung's own um, black S21 Ultra case with S Pen holder. But that is it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Man, I got a lot of videos lined up. I shot a bunch of um, videos. It's just a matter of getting them edited and then uploading to YouTube for you guys. So yeah, that is it. If you guys found this video informative or got value out of it or been entertained, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys all for watching. If you guys made it this far, follow me on Instagram at The Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time, everybody take care, stay safe. 
Stay healthy and have a wonderful day.